film you're about to see is the third and possibly the final tour around the farm in this little series. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy this one. What a great way to start the third part of our tour by being led around by Flora. Always curious when people are around. So this is Flora's pen. We've got two halves to it. The idea is that one half gets a chance to recover while she's living on the other half. And then just opposite Flora's pen is the donkey paddock. They don't always graze in there because they do munch through grass quite a lot. They often go to other areas. You can see down the bottom of the veg garden, the patches of lighter green. So we put electric fencing around and they graze on that. So it's all quite close and nice. We've got our third polytunnel there, which was put up a little while ago, but we haven't used it a great deal yet. And then here we go, looking over the market garden. Absolutely brilliant job. When you think that only about three, three and a half years ago, this was just awful, solid clay, dreadful. You couldn't grow anything on it. But through years of hard work, lots of manure, lots of compost, lots of graft, uh, and it's just been great to see the way that Steve and now with the help of Anthony are turning it into a really fruitful, can you say fruitful when you're talking about vegetables? Anyway, a great garden, so growing all sorts of salad stuff, chard, there's the rhubarb, rhubarb has been going down so well. It tastes delicious as well. I don't usually like rhubarb, but I really like our rhubarb. The net's there to stop the birds and the insects getting in. That's been really useful. And those frames are made out of the blue pipe that we use for plumbing. Really useful second use for it. So you can see the market garden runs alongside of a number of the animal pens. So there's floras again. And as we walk up the market garden, we come to the duck and the goose and the chicken area with another bench there made by Paul. Got a number of benches set out around the farm. Really nice just to be able to sit down and relax. So there's a bath there that the birds like to dip into. That's where we put them away at night to keep them safe from the foxes. So it's just great, you've got uh, all the fruit and veg, so soft fruits, got the raspberry canes up there, and then outdoor strawberry beds. And then next to the duck and goose and chicken bit, we've got the pygmy goats. So there's Dexter, and there's Basil. Now this is a new development, the ducks keep coming in here, the female ducks can get through the fence, the male ducks are too big, but a couple of the male ducks pester the females, so we're actually about to get rid of two of our male ducks who are going to live on a pond uh, where there's trout, so they're going to have a lovely new life, but it means that our females won't be so bothered. Here we go with the the kids pen these are our golden guernseys these were born in march 2019 so these are the twins that's cassandra with her nose in the air and that's cadbury on the left and there's clover just trying to get up and that's where they sleep lots of grass for them to gnaw away nice pen good sized pen for them There they are, just sort of following us around. Lovely, curious animals, very, very friendly. Beautiful views. It's just lovely. This is early evening, so the sun's just starting to go down. Beautiful light, very calm. This is where we put our guinea pigs. It's split into two, so we have the males on one side and the females on the other side. We move it around because they do munch the grass as well. And then going through the gate, into one of our fields. We're growing some hay on here at the moment, but the alpacas graze on this later. 
beehives over there on the left. The alpacas were in that field at the back, but they've now been moved. So this is a little piece showing what happened when we moved the alpacas a few days ago. They've been in this paddock for a long time grazing away. You can see the grass is really quite short. Their coats are amazing at the moment. They're really long. They look really, really healthy and good like this. Such thick fur. Uh, in about less than a month now that we've got the shearer coming in, Kirsty the shearer, and she's going to strip them right down. So we come out of the paddock. This bund is uh, covering a water pipe that takes the surface water from the estate and it all runs into that reservoir where we have the bird hide. So now down the other side of the bun past the bird hide there on the right and over into their new paddock where there's a lot more grass and they can have a month or so in there gnawing away until we've had our cut of hay on the other one and then we can move them back to the other field again. Del here isn't on a lead, he's been running free, just following. He's never been on a lead, but he's followed nicely and now in. Take the harnesses off, freedom. And back out through the gate with the farmhouse on the left and the goat pen on the right. This is another area where we put the other guinea pigs out during the day and they can have their grass and they go back inside in their hutches at night to keep them safe. That's Caramel with Amos behind her. And then beyond the goats, a couple of outside beds there with strawberries in them and into Polly number two, called Polly number two because it was the second one built. And there's the potatoes in the middle just being dug up, the first harvest of the year. Brilliant. Look at those strawberries, they taste wonderful, so juicy. I can't imagine any of those are gonna get out on the stall this year. So these are some cold frames that have been made by Rob up in the workshop. Absolutely great asset. And this is into Poly 1, the first one that we ever built. Same construction, just a different usage. This is mostly flowers. We do some teaching in there as well. And then coming away from the poly tunnels, we've got all of our flower beds. So we have vegetables at the back and flowers at the front. There's a tree guard that we're growing some sweet peas up. Nice little centerpiece. Raised bed that was built a few years ago by John and Matt. Still standing, doing well. This is quite a sort of colourful part. As you walk down the side of the barns, you get all these nice colours and then onto the rose bed, which is just starting to come out. They've got another bit of time before the blooms all come out. That will look adorable. Up there is the goat pen where they live in the winter time, and then this is our hay barn. That's the last remains of last year's hay. Back down, we've got a path there that leads all the way down. You can just about make out the alpacas are now in that field at the very far end. So this is a bund. A bund is just a hill really just another name for a hill man-made hill and it borders us and the new road which gives us a little bit of protection from the sound and, and the cars this is some hawthorn that we've planted we've got 12 hawthorn that we've planted which is going to be in a few years time when it grows the legs of three alpacas so we're going to weave all that and make some topiary with the hay, with the hawthorn. And then just walking along the bund, you can see the compost bins in the foreground with all the market garden in the back, just starting to increase the amount of greenery. Another month or so that will be green all the way over. What a great sight.
barns in the background. Beautiful light. Well, that's the end of the tour, the third and final tour of this little series. I hope you've enjoyed it and you've got a better idea of what it's like to walk around. I've had some great comments coming in from people who've not been here and are really fascinated by what they've seen and other comments from people who know it well but haven't been able to come up because they're in isolation just saying how much they miss it and it's doing them good so that's really great to hear and that means these films are doing their job so please keep your comments coming in i'm sitting here in the hay barn which was featured earlier in this video uh, it just reminds me we're cutting the next lot of hay tonight and I'll probably do a little feature on that because that's quite a nice process and then baling it and bringing it all in. Um, we've got quite a few bales left from last year which is really nice hay so if any of you out there do want some hay please get in touch because we're selling the bales. Only four pounds a bale, come and get it while it's still here. Um, uh, we've also got a, a blue tit that's been nesting and has got eight little babies so I've been getting some film of that flying in and out and I'll probably do a little feature on that sometime soon as well so lots going on on the farm looking forward to trying to get back to some kind of normality but I hope these videos are helping uh, stay tuned thanks